There are two main ways in which we could figure out whether MGF2, that's magnesium fluoride, is ionic or covalent. The first way is we could look at the periodic table divided into metals and nonmetals. So here's the periodic table. We're looking for magnesium, which is right here in group two. That's a metal. And then fluorine, that's over here. That's a nonmetal. So if we have a metal plus a nonmetal, that means we have an ionic compound. We can also look at the difference in electronegativity between the magnesium and the fluorine atom. So to do that, we look at this chart here. We can see if the difference in electronegativity, if it's greater than 2.0, it's an ionic compound. So if we have a difference in electronegativity between the magnesium and the fluorine greater than 2, we have an ionic compound. So let's look at the periodic table with the electronegativity values here shown. We find magnesium right here, 1.31. And then fluorine, which is the most electronegative element on the periodic table, 3.98. So the difference between these two numbers, that's greater than 2. 3.98 minus 1.31, that's greater than 2. So magnesium fluoride, that'll be an ionic compound greater than 2. This is Dr. B answering the question whether MGF2 is ionic or covalent. It is ionic. Thanks for watching.